Hi everyone and welcome to my review of the upgraded TS100 soldering iron. About two months ago I bought this one, that's the original one. I have been using it a fair bit and really really like it. So now I picked up the upgraded one and we'll have an unboxing to see what's the difference and if it's worth getting the upgraded one or if you should pick up the original one that's still a bit cheaper. The upgraded one comes in this slightly bigger package. It says that it's designed by eDesign. It's mentioning that it has STM32, that it has the DC5525 connector, that it has an OLED display. It mentions on the back that it goes from 100 to 400 degrees Celsius. It has an input voltage of between 12 and 24 volts and it produces between 17 and 65 watts of power and that's depending on the voltage it has smart control, sleep mode and alert mode and of course it's made in China and it also follows both the CE, the FC and is created using the Creative Commons license so it's an open source design both the firmware and the hardware the box is held with magnet and you just open it here directly we see one of the first differences. This one comes with a different soldering tip than the original one. This one comes with the TSI one. While the original, if I'm not remembering one, comes with the TSB2. We can make a quick comparison if I just open this. So here is the upgraded one here next to my used you can see that the upgraded one is a fair bit thinner here is a close up showing the difference between the newer soldering iron tip and the old one which is one of the difference why I picked up this one since I wanted it to be a different after here we have a quality control sticker that we just slide away and open up and here inside is the moment of truth the TS100 got some let's see here, this looks like instruction books one of those ground clips the small allen wrench to put in the small screws to hold the place and a stand the stand seems to be made of some glass fiber I think let's open up the upgraded TS100 that now comes in the color brown in comparison to the original one that's black New in the package of this one, that wasn't in the original, is the stand. That one didn't come with the original one. And also the grounding cable. A bit hard to get out of this small plastic bag. So let's see, this one seems to fit together like this. Yeah. Seems to be a really snug fit. Oh, now. Yeah, like that. Let's try it with the one already assembled. Yeah, seems to be a fairly nice fit. Let's check out the ground clip. It's also new. It comes with its plug that you just connect, and then you can connect this part to the ground screw that I think is this one. Ah, up. sorry, my bad. Over here. So you unscrew this screw and put it here. 
Then you can connect this one in something grounded. And your soldering iron will be grounded. So let's open up one of these small bags, take out this really tiny allen wrench and one of these also really tiny screws to assemble the soldering iron. Oh, it already had a screw. Really, really small. Might need to undo it a bit more. Yeah, like that. Let's tighten it up a bit. So, this 5.5 mm with the 2.5 mm center plug just happens to be the same connector that I have on my laptop. So I will now use the AC adapter for my laptop. Just this one, look like that, and it just connects in the bottom and it turns on. It shows that the firmware that came with this one is 2.1.1 or 2.11. Long pressing the left button will heat it up, it should now heat up to 300 degrees Celsius. And now start keeping the temperature. Now pressing either right will raise the temperature and releasing it will make it rise the temperature. We can even hold left and lower the temperature. And it should now start decreasing in temperature. Holding both buttons will turn it off. It will still be hot, but pressing right again will show the current temperature even to it's turned off. Which is one of the features I really like. Except the coloring and the package and what is included, I can see any difference. The soldering tip is one of the smaller types compared to the original the color is brown instead of black the firmware on this happened to be upgraded compared to mine since on this one I still think I have 2.10 I believe I haven't cared to upgrade it, yeah version 2.10 but it don't really matter for me that much it also comes with this small stand that feels rather nice. And this ground cable. That's the only difference I can see. Here is just a video about showing how fast it will heat up and melt this 6040 soldering with rosin core that they are placed on the tip. Starting it now. Temperature is reading steadily. I'm now using the. Oh, and there it started to melt. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe and ask any questions down below in the comments. Thank you, and have a nice day.